Hi, welcome to Cane Creek Cycling Components. I'm Jim Morrison, a headset designer and engineer. The headset is a small yet critical component that is often overlooked. In this video series, we're going to show you how to service, adjust, and install your threadless headset. You can also download a high resolution version of our videos so that you can bring them into your shop and follow along as they play from your laptop or iPod. In order to perform this job properly, you will need a professional fork crown facing tool a head tube facing tool, a headset press with adapters, a digital caliper, crown raise setting tools, a hammer, and some quality waterproof grease. Before you can install your headset, your frame's head tube and fork must be properly prepared. It's a good idea to take your frame and fork to a local bike shop for proper prep. You will also need to make sure that the headset you have purchased is compatible with your frame and fork. For more information on headset identification, visit canecreek.com. Now, let's get started. After the headset and fork have been prepared, measure your head tube, fork, and headset to ensure that all are the correct size to fit one another. Next, it is important to carefully examine the headset cup and take note of how the chosen headset press interfaces with the cup. For cups with a drop-in bearing such as the S3 and 100, it's best to use the drop-in bearing side of the Cane Creek headset installation tools. Special care should be taken in the Cane Creek 110. It is critical that you do not press on the inner bearing race, as this can damage the bearing. Instead, use the press-in bearing side of the Cane Creek installation tool to press on the outer bearing race and protect your investment. Now apply a thin layer of waterproof grease to the insertion sleeve of the lower headset cup. Next, install the headset cups to the head tube, beginning with the lower cup. Align the lower cup, the headset press, head tube, and headset installation tool. Once in line, slowly press the lower cup into the head tube until you feel a firm fit. Do not use excessive torque as it may damage the cup or even the frame. Check to see that the cup is fully seated in the head tube. Keep the installation tool in place on the bottom cup. Once this is complete, you may now proceed to the installation of the upper cup. Apply a thin layer of grease to the insertion sleeve of the upper headset cup. Then align the upper cup, the headset press, head tube, and headset installation tool. Once in line, slowly press the upper cup into the head tube until you feel a firm fit. Do not use excessive torque as this may damage the cup or frame. With both cups installed, we are now ready to install the crown race on the fork. As with the cups, examine the way in which the crown race and tool mate. For best results, use a Cane Creek crown race setting adapter to install Cane Creek crown races. Slide the crown race over the steerer tube, then the installation adapter, and finally the crown race setting tool. Set the crown race while holding the fork in one hand. Do not rest the fork on the ground. Begin to hammer gently but firmly. This should not take more than three to four blows. If it does, stop, check the alignment, and remeasure. You will notice that the tone of the hammer blows changes when the crown race is fully seated. The crown race is set when there is no visible space between the crown race and fork crown. We are now ready to assemble the headset. Begin by applying a light film of grease to both bearings to prevent corrosion. Slide the lower bearing over the steerer tube noting the correct orientation. Carefully insert the fork assembly into the frame. Slide the upper bearing over the steerer tube and into the upper cup, again noting the correct orientation. Now slide the compression ring over the steerer tube. Ensure that the compression ring is seated between the bearing and the steerer tube before proceeding, and if present, the shim seal over the steerer tube. Next, install the top cover, any spacers, and stem. Ensure that there is a 3 mm space between the top of the steerer tube and the top of the stem. Then, place the preload cap and adjust your headset, being sure to align the stem with the front wheel and then tighten the stem bolts. You've now finished installing your new Cane Creek headset. For detailed instructions on headset adjustment, see our video on our website in the Tech Center at canecreek.com. <laughs>